Welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to show you a little tip on how to find a fault on a split load consumer unit. I say a fault, it's, I, I've actually came out and found it. I'm just going to go through the process of how I come across it. We're back today to remedy it. Um, it's not really a fault, it's a case of too much earth leak which is causing it to trip, which is a you know a really big issue with split load consumer units. This is why I'm a you know I'm all for fitting RCBO consumer units because you won't get this issue. But um, yeah, basically. We've had a lot of earth leakage causing the RCD to trip and um, we've come to figure out why and uh, show you how we went through the process of doing it. So let's go have a look. Right, so basically the issue we've had is this keeps tripping out, this RCD. Yeah. So it's a 30 milliamp RCD which is covering these three circuits. Which you've got cooker, sockets and DB out which is the fuse board over in that unit there. So what I've done, I've taken my earth leakage meter and I've put it around the tails of the, the board and we're reading 12 milliamp there well, when I was doing it the other day we was up to 18 milliamp so in theory that will probably trip at about 24 so it's reading eight, 18 it was the other day and it was just getting higher and higher and higher so eventually it's going to trip yeah. I'll be on there now hard to see 12.7, 12.6. So then all I did, I went across here and I turned off circuit by circuit by circuit. So if I turn off the cooker, that's made no difference whatsoever. That's still reading the same. So then what I did, I turned off the outbuilding, which has dropped it down to two milliamp now. So that has taken off a massive chunk of the earth leakage, which is at that over there. So what I did then, I went over, well, I'll show you that when I go over there. But anyway, that's the issue there. Right. Right, so what we've done now is taking it off this RCCB and it's over here on the main switch side. So there's currently no RCD protection. I'll show you what I've done there and why we're allowed to do that. So this is the set that we've got over here. Here's the, the supply coming from the house. It goes into here, which someone has cut into for a car charger. They've put this in. I don't know if that's a double pole RCBO or not. C4D 61009. Yeah, so that's a RCBO. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. So I'm talking about your iPhone. That's an RCBO, so that's fine. We're just controlling that. Um, and then you've got the feed for this consumer unit. I don't know how they have fed the solar board. They've Someone's put in solar panels and battery storage here as well. So this is the inverter. That is the battery storage. Oh, they fed it off this consumer unit here. Right, which they haven't labelled, which is real nice of them. So, yeah, they fed it off there. They've probably doubled it. Let's have a look, shall we? I bet they've come straight off the main switch with that. Yeah, they have. Rough. Rough as hell. Right, okay. So yeah, that's what they've done there. They've come off the, uh, the feed side of the RCD to feed that rather than put another consumer unit in. Or Henley box or something. Yeah, so that's a bit rough. Anywho. You all done for me later? So I'll just show you what I went through anyway. Like I said, while I was over the other side, I um, put my clamp meter, earth leakage meter around the tails. The reason we do around the tails, because that's how an RCT works. It actually measures between live and neutral. The earth really isn't involved. So it measures the balance between your line and your neutral conductor. And if there's any imbalances there, as in current going out and current coming back in, obviously we've got an earth leakage, we've got a leakage to earth somewhere. So that's how, that's how the RCT works. Um, so that's why I put it around the line and the neutral on the tails. Um, I, like I said, I switched that circuit off for the DB, which is this DB here. Um, it dropped that milliamp rate, uh, reading right the way down. It, like when I came the other day, we was on 18, nearly 19 milliamps. It dropped it down to two. So I knew the problem was out here somewhere. What I did then, I put it back on and I went through every circuit here, one by one by one and run back and forth, run back and forth the house. 
and we found it to be the actual solar so it's a solar and the battery storage which is giving a really big earth leakage doesn't surprise me there's a lot of dc components here and a lot of dc electronics do have earth leakage they're actually built that way to stop themselves from getting damaged so they are they are made to have a you know a certain amount of earth leakage um i haven't really done a lot with battery storage so i don't know if that's a common problem rcbo board inside would have solved it obviously it's an expense that the customer doesn't want to go through at the moment and so i've decided to take that circuit which is supplying all this off the rcd side in the house the reason i'm being able to do that is we are rcd protected here which is covering this whole installation and then the car charger has got an rcbo double pole which is covering this so everything is still rcd protected the only thing which will not be rcd protected is the supply to the building which if i show you it is all in swa cable uh you can't quite see it there but it comes down here around here and it goes around that wall and back up there so there is actually no need for that to be RCD protected. A is surface mounted and B is mechanically protected by the armour in, in the SWA cable. So that's how we found that fault there with the, the nuisance tripping with the RCD on a split load board. Hopefully this has helped someone because split load boards can be a nuisance to find a fault. Something like that, if you're using, if you've got an earth leakage clamp meter and you're using that, you can turn off circuit by circuit and it will give you a good indication. Like I said, this installation didn't have a specific fault. It's a combination of a lot of earth leakages building up, which is causing that RCD to trip. And then there's no rhyme or reason with it. It's whenever it gets really, really high. So that could be the middle of the night, it could be anywhere. So we found that the the solar and the battery storage is giving it well there's like 18 milliamp just off that so that's a big chunk especially when an rcd is going to trip around 23 24 so hopefully that's a, that's a problem solved for them it's a lot better than it was currently running now you've got two and a half milliamps running through those those rcds and that's between two of those it's purely by taking this off so you know they've got a lot more leeway obviously best scenario would have been an rcbo board but it's a cost isn't it so anyway that's our little video hope it helped you all out Th take, thank you for taking your time for watching if you haven't already hit that subscribe button that like button don't forget to get down in the comments as well because it really really helps the channel grow and i'll see you on the next one so take care stay safe ta -da.